Hey guys, welcome back to some more Cricket 19 and part 5 of our Ashes series with England. Today we start our second innings against Australia. Um, we scored 406 in our first innings, which was very, very good. And then skittled them out for 211. Joffre Archer, 7 for 48. And if you look at the fall of wickets uh, for all of them, they were 130 for 3 and collapsed to 211 all out and that was mainly thanks to uh, 31 at the end there from Tim Payne four ducks there at the end uh, contributing to their low total so let's get into the action today I was hoping to have a bowling episode today but it didn't quite work out that way uh, with the uh, the simulation last episode so let's get into it the second innings of this Australia um, of this Ashes match. First ball blocked out by Jason Roy. You know, I think we can afford to be even more aggressive in this innings, you know, if we can go and get four, 400, 500 lead. This match is over, and well, that's a, a full delivery in. Jason Roy is going to take advantage of that every single time. Beautiful shot for four, and we are in complete control of this test match right now. Yep. Lead already up to 200. Off the pads, that's going to be four. Poor line from the bowler and what a great start here against Mitchell Stark. Yep. Precision, just a great shot. And again, I mean, we've come out with a bit of intent, has to be said. Beautiful shot there. Rory Burns, both of his first two shots have found the boundary. Just blocking that one. Bit expensive that over. 13 off the first over. Not often that happens in a test match. Josh Hazelwood has come in from the other end. Wide ball, and that's the treatment it gets. You miss time that you edge that to slip, but that was beautifully timed. Waiting. Too full again, that's going to be four. That goes for four. Good shot. Once again, this outfield is just like an ice rink. Already past 20. <gasps> just a lack of concentration there. It's a bit of an experience. Well, a better over. And now on. Yeah, from it. There's Mitchell Stark again, and Rory Burns getting set. Waiting. Yep. 
tough yeah. what a Once again on the pads and that's fall. It's always gonna happen. Yep. Two in a row on the pads, two in a row that's go to the fence. Angry. Pads again, not quite the same treatment this time. Wait. That one's a bit too well, cool. there you Very go. Nicely. Four beautiful runs there. That's another good over for us. 34 without loss after three overs. This is crazily good run rate. Yep. The bowling just isn't good enough. I said that in the first innings, and, you know, I think I'm going to be a bit more measured this time. I don't think we're going to attack any ball that isn't there to be attacked. Oh, we want to keep our wickets intact, like that one there. We would have attacked that in the first innings. Probably edged it to slip. Being sensible about those. Just things on the pads, and also pitched up. So even that I shouldn't have really went for. Yep. Oh, that's on the pads and that's going to be four. Unlucky. It's 22 off 9 at the moment. Absolutely crazily good strike rate. Yep. Well, there's another one. I think. Runs coming along nicely here. Another good shot. Perfect technique and placement. Another good over for us. Well, they're bowling on the pads and bowling exactly where we want them to bowl at the moment. That one's a bit better. A bit more in a region than we do want to be playing it in. Anything especially wide, we're going to leave, but pitched up and wide, I'm going to punch it for four. Big risk taking it out of the air. Probably just didn't carry. Go, we leave that one. Bit more of a measured over this time, and it's because they're bowling a bit better. Much better area. Stuff like that, short and wide, we're not gonna play. Yep. 
full and wide, and you get smashed for four. And there's the 50 up already. Takes his partnership to 50. Plays and misses. Yep. It's a beautiful straight drive from Jason Roy. Nice shot. Four runs. I have to see a replay of this. I was briefly in the air. I mean, it was in the air all the way to the. The return at uh, the uh, non strikers end could have been caught yep. uh, on the pads again. Coming back for a second, it's a risky second, it's but we're okay. Out. Probably didn't need to play that one, but we're all right. End of the over. The over. A good one for the batting side. It's a couple of overs where we haven't, you know, attacked too much, but I think that's more down to the bowling, and, you know, I've said that. The whole way through, if Aussies ball better, I won't attack. We'll need to run this quickly. Waiting. That's another good stop. Another quick single. Overstepping the mark, no ball called. No ball that time. Right off the last two balls and try to get through the rest of the over unscathed. Yep. No! Just about okay there. Him, but not too much bad about that. Move that one as well. There we go, end of the over. Changing the commentary box. Joining me now is Mel Jones. Hey, Slats. Morning, everybody. Well, they are very close to reaching 100 test wickets. Waiting. Good stop. Well, that won't be a run. Somebody told me in the comments uh, about that. If uh, a run has scored, um, 
off a off you know it hits the body but you don't play a stroke you don't get the run and I never knew that before but uh, very interesting Oh, that's four. That's four. Great shot. Beautiful. Yep. No. Five runs added in the over. The right arm medium bowler is coming on to bowl from the south end. Doesn't play that one well. I have to say, Jason Roy is probably the more vulnerable of the two batsmen at the moment. Hits him again, but he's not phased by it. Yep. Yeah. That's gone. That's gone. Timed it beautifully. But it was in the air and they caught it. And that's a big breakthrough. Rory Burns has gone. Should have probably just left it. It was too short. We went for it and what a catch that is as well. Rory Burns gone for 39. Nice little innings there. Not nice enough though. Just one run off the over. Now Jason Roy becomes even more important than he usually is. Oh, just he's a got sort of... Whether the Stormy or the Aussies have turned on the ball and in the last four or five overs or so. End of the Ten overs gone, 69 for one. Yep. Well, that was decent enough timing. Uh, probably two here. So for that. I get back for two.
That's Benno, that's four. Times that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great well, in exactly the same manner as Rory Burns, Jason Roy is gone. Well, uh, that is unlucky. It was virtually the same delivery from the same bowler, short. We whacked it straight to the field there. Their plan worked. Roy gone for 35. And a good start has been negated here. We're two down now for 75. So the anchor man comes in now. Really great bowling. to have got to steady the ship somewhat take us past 100 maybe 150 before lose my wicket they've got to settle down now double Joe that's, that's a nice shot from Denley that's going to be four played nicely in the first innings Denley 75 he got yeah, steadied the ship well, after we had a Bit of a middle order collapse. Oh, that could be out. Shout for an LBW. Not sure the captain is convinced, though. I think he might be right. Certainly close. Not sure how the Certainly close. Are they going to review it? No. Let's have a little look at Hawkeye. Umpire's call on the in line. It was hitting the stumps. Very, very lucky indeed there. Had we been given out, that was out. Yes, yes. Nice yes, save there. Seven and one. Timed it beautifully, but just didn't connect. We need to dig in now. Try and get big scores with both of these players. Beautiful length. It's just a bit short to tempt you in. But if you go for it, anything you go for will be in the air momentarily. Yes, yes. That's well played. Into the gap. Might even trickle to the boundary. It's going to be at least three. Good running. He's sort of picking up where he left off in the first innings. Jordan still trapped on zero. Just struggling slightly. The skipper. Waiting. 
ends the, the over. Andy three for two. Stark, the left arm fast bowler, is the new bowler from the north end. Oh, that's four. What a pitch of a shot that is from Joe Denley on the pads. Look at the wrists. They just rolled beautifully. That's four runs. And there's second boundary. Root definitely struggling here. Eight balls. Still not off the mark. Yeah, yeah. Root is off the mark. Finally off the mark. Don't even need a run for that one. Second beautiful strike of the ball. The pace bowler is coming Joe Denley. To the from the south end. So Cummins has switched ends now. didn't know where that was going. It's a tough one, Marut. Perfection. That's a beautiful shot. Two more balls in this episode then. Misread that one. Couldn't get the drive away. Assuming there wasn't any sort of uh, edge on that. No, just the pad. So, a bit lucky there for Joe Root. Well, there was no inside edge. Well, that's the end there. And that is where we're going to leave it for today's episode. If you have enjoyed that, then make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for regular Cricket 19 content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.